Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we are going to be reacting to Tesla Semi Incredible Acceleration in a final test ahead of deliveries. So this is actually really exciting. As we know, these vehicles will be going into delivery quite soon. So these vehicles will be on the road in the hands of customers. This is a very exciting time for Tesla. It's incredibly exciting. Now, I do believe this is the video in question. Let's get it started. So let's see this incredible acceleration that everyone is talking about. It, it really does look incredible, I gotta say. Ooh, look at the effortless. Wow. It looks effortless. I'm not gonna lie. Is that the real sound? Because it, it looks like the, the sound sounds like kind of incredible because there's no engine. So it's a big truck for some safety reason there should be a noise and that noise sound pretty beastly now let's check out the acceleration once again obviously it's nothing crazy it's no tesla model x played no but for a truck for a truck this this is what a 16 wheeler yeah for a truck this is as big as you get in trucking um that's pretty impressive acceleration i'm not gonna lie and I drive big vehicles for a living, so trust me, I know that's really a, that's really great acceleration. This is not the only thing we want to talk about today. We're also going to be talking about some other exciting news. Elon Musk has recently said that Tesla stocks could be worth more than Apple and Saudi Aramco combined. This is absolutely incredible. I think right now Saudi Aramco is still the most valuable company based on market cap. And then there's Apple, Microsoft, stuff like that. But... The possibility that Tesla in the future could be worth more than Apple and Saudi Aramco, not just individually, but combined. That's absolutely incredible. So we're going to be having a look at the Tesla shares. Tesla is considering a huge buyback. I think it's like from 5 to 10 billion buyback. That'd be absolutely incredible because the stock is under value right now. I believe the market cap is around 650 billion. It is under value relative to Tesla. Remember now, ladies and gents, Tesla is the company that wants to build 10, 10 million vehicles per year. 5 million vehicles, 7 million vehicles, 9, 10 million vehicles per year. What happens when Tesla achieves 5 million, 6 million, 7 million, 8 million, going up to 10 million? Their, their market cap is going to be incredibly large. Also, the, the income will be insanely large. Tesla delivered near to a million vehicles last year. I believe they made, was it like over 55 or 53 billion so let's say that tesla could get uh, 5 million vehicles on average that would 5x that income that that 53 billion in 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 revenue um that would 5x it put it puts it around quarter of a trillion per year 250 billion in revenue per year if tesla can build and deliver uh 5 million vehicles per year and to be honest they're not too far away from that. That's the scary thing. They're not too far. This year, they will deliver 1.3, 1.4 million vehicles. They're not too far away from 5 million vehicles. I give them the next 10 years. They will get to 5, 6, or 7 million vehicles, which means that their, their income will be generating will be anywhere from 250 to $350 billion per year. That's income. That's That's income before all the all the the cost of of manufacturing of course but that's still good remember now manufacturing costs it costs a lot it's not cheap you know but before we continue into the the realms of tesla income and the possibilities that tesla could be that valuable let's get back to our tesla semi truck this is tesla's uh, crucial vehicle right now because this is a vehicle that they are putting out there for the first time this vehicle has never made it into the hands of customers this would be the first time a Tesla Semi is heading out into the hands of customers. So we're going to get a lot of feedback from customers, you know, potential. Remember, these these vehicles are run off software. It's no longer engines. So the the entire landscape is is shifted. So it says here, Tesla just a few weeks away from kicking off deliveries of their electric Semi. Ahead of that milestone moment, one of the class eight electric trucks have been spotted ongoing some final testing in Nevada. Now the semi was spotted hauling a trailer in Silver Springs, just a short 30 minute drive from Giga Nevada where semi is currently being built. 
What makes the video impressive is how effortlessly the semi pulls away from a complete stop. That is true. Yeah, typical trucks, they do not pull away that effortlessly. Uh, from being around trucks, being around big vehicles, there's usually a, a, a jump. Like you see the truck about to pull, there's a jump and then that speed builds up like super slow. So it's nothing like this. This was like, like taking a candy away from a baby. That's how simplistic it was. Now you might be thinking, well, the truck could be empty. That is a possibility. But even in an empty truck, this is still rather impressive, even for an empty truck. Remember now. A lot of these trucks, based on my experience living in the UK, a lot of these trucks are not actually carrying around the heaviest weight you can imagine. Yeah, some of these trucks are carrying around heavy weights, such as potatoes and stuff like that. But a lot of these trucks are also carrying around lighter weight items. And these trucks are also built to deal with that weight. So Tesla built this, built this truck specifically to deal with that weight efficiently, the more weight um, the more mileage will be used on the battery. So Tesla considered these things in mind. So once we get these vehicles out on the road with actual um, packages inside these vehicles, different weights of different packages, then we can properly assess how it deals with real world conditions, hot weather, cold weather, crashes, how it's going to deal with that. There's a whole list of scenarios that I can think of that only the real world can show us what these trucks will be like. Now, according to Tesla, their semi can reach 60 miles an hour in 20 seconds while fully loaded. That's fully loaded, right? Which it says is 82,000 pounds gross combination weight. Given how quickly this particular semi accelerated through the roundabout, the trailer is lightly empty or has very light weight inside. That's what I was uh, proposing that the truck could be, indeed be empty, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. I'm sure they're also testing these trucks with heavy loads as well, because that's, that's crucial. That's the point. Now the trucks will be put to work at two of PepsiCo's factory in California. We're going to get some interesting sighting of these trucks. Some interesting story will be popping up all over the place. So now onto our Tesla stock, right? Tesla once again achieved an industry lead in operation margin in Q3. Management believe Tesla can grow deliveries by 50% annually over the long term, which is a target of 20 million vehicles annually by 2030. Holy crap. So if Tesla continues to grow by 50% each year annually, uh, they will be delivering 20 million vehicles by 2030. Holy crap. Now, if Tesla actually does that, I believe they'll be reaching close to $1 trillion in income. Remember now, early hours targets in 5 million vehicles, they'll be generating $250 billion. Now, if you 4X that to 20 million vehicles, sorry, that's a trillion annually. If you 4X that number, that is a trillion dollars annually. Holy crap. Is there any company who's making a trillion dollar annually? I'm not talking about oil companies. Saudi Aramco, I'm not talking about companies like that. Companies like Tesla, Apple, Microsoft, Google, are they making anything that crazy? Will Tesla be able to build these 20 million vehicles annually? That's the real question. You know, material is getting more expensive. It's going to take um, a mountain of a task for Tesla to get anywhere close to 20 million vehicles. But it's not impossible. We've seen Tesla pulls off the impossible time after time after time again. It's not out of the question for them to pull off the impossible. Now the next impossible. Elon says that Tesla could eventually be worth 4.4 trillion and some Wall Street analysts issue more bullish price target. Yes, there have. And I'm actually recording this video on a Sunday. Tomorrow's trading day. We'll see how the stock perform for the rest of the week. But as you know, um, Tesla shares have been falling and that is good for people like me and you. Of course, that's not financial advice, but it's definitely good for me because I love cheap shares, especially cheap shares of a really good company. I can't complain. Now, there's plenty of data to go through within this information, but the most important thing to, to realize, Tesla has a prediction saying that they could increase production annually 50% each year. If they get anywhere close to 50% each year, no, my mistake, increasing by 50% each year is basically like if Tesla, Tesla built, what was it, almost a million vehicle last year. Well, this year they have to increase it by almost a half a million vehicles, around 480 to 500,000 vehicles. 
to, in order to hit that target of 50% annually growth. With that being said, will Tesla achieve 1.5 million vehicles delivered this year? I mean, this, this quarter, Q3, they're going crazy. They're looking to produce over 400,000 vehicles in three months. What in the actual world? Um, are we witnessing right here? But it's terrific to see. I definitely think they can be more valuable than Apple and Saudi Aramco combined. I definitely think that. What I am skeptical about is the 20 million vehicles delivered annually by 2030. 2030 is in eight years, by the way. That's in eight years. It's going to take more factories, more resources, a lot more. But if they do, I mean, they've already got the advantage in the market. So what they really need is to build the vehicles. The the demand is definitely there, but they need to build cheaper vehicles as well, which they are working on. But that is it for this video. Hope you enjoyed my reaction to the Tesla semi truck acceleration and my opinions on Tesla stock future. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to see more. And of course, I'll see you in our next video.